What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp performance tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about your texture sizes and how they can affect the performance of your models inside of SketchUp, as well as a little trick that you can use in order to make them look better inside of your models. So if you wanna learn more about this kind of thing, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course, my detailed course teaching you how to use SketchUp step-by-step. Step. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we'll start with the basics and we'll have timestamps at the bottom of this video. So if you do want to jump to another part, you can definitely do that. But to start off, um, the way that textures work inside of SketchUp is they're basically taking an image file and they're repeating that image over and over on a face. And so SketchUp has some good textures to kind of start with over here in the materials section, but I want to talk specifically about adding in custom materials and some things you need to look out for when you're doing that. So. To start off, let's go ahead and let's download some different materials. So I'm gonna use a texture from Polyhaven as an example. I will link to this in the notes down below, but one of the things you might notice when you download texture files is a lot of the time they have multiple different options over here for different resolutions, right? You have options over here for a 1K, 2K, all the way up to an 8K. And notice that each one of those is gonna have a different download size. And so because those have different download sizes, you need to pay a little bit of attention to which one you download and how they're gonna affect your SketchUp model. So what I've done is I've downloaded a couple of couple versions of this. We're gonna take a look at what they do inside of our SketchUp model. So first things first, um, let's take a look at this. There is an option inside of SketchUp where you can affect the texture resolution of the textures that get brought in. So we're gonna go to Window, Preferences, and then if we go under the option for OpenGL, notice how there's a checkbox in here for Use Maximum Texture Size. And so what that checkbox is gonna do is that's gonna allow you to use higher resolution textures. A lot of the time by default, in a SketchUp installation, this box is not checked because it's really easy if you don't know about what textures do to a SketchUp model. And it's really easy for you to use textures that are way too big and it really slows your model down. So we're gonna check this box, but notice how you get an option, or you get a warning in here that says you may experience a significant slowdown when using maximum texture size. So we're gonna go ahead and say yes, but just be aware that when you do check this box, you have to start paying a little bit of attention to your different textures. And so what I wanna do is I wanna bring in that texture and let's take a look at what it does to our model. So let's start by opening up our create material and we're just gonna call this wood siding 1K. And remember to bring in a custom texture. You wanna check on the box for use texture image. And then you wanna go find that texture. So I'm gonna to go to my materials folder, my wood folder, and then I'm gonna sort these by modified. So notice how you have three options in here because I downloaded the three different resolutions. So I downloaded the 1K, and if I mouse over the 1K, notice how it says has a size of 4.38 megabytes. If I mouse over the 4K, notice that that folder is 60 megabytes and the 8K is 145 megabytes. What that means is that means that the textures in the larger folders have higher resolution. So they're gonna look better in your model, but they're also going to affect your SketchUp model performance. For now, let's just bring in the 1K material and take a look at it. So I'm just gonna double click in here. And in this case, we want the diffuse map, which is the DIFF. So I'm just gonna double click, click on OK to bring that in. And then I'm just gonna right click and do a select all with same material inside of my example model. And I'm gonna apply this to that model. And one thing you may notice is this is a little bit small. So let's jump in here and let's just adjust this to something like, call it five feet right here. Then we're gonna click back into our model. So notice how we've got this custom material in here now that looks pretty good. Unless you really zoom into it, then it looks a little bit fuzzy. But right now, if we look at this, it looks pretty good. So we've applied this texture to our model. So let's go ahead and save a copy of our model. So we'll do a save as, and we'll just call this one 1K texture. And so if we go look in this folder, notice how the 1K texture model is larger 
than the other models. So the reason for that is because when we added this in, this added a higher resolution texture, that image has to be stored inside of SketchUp as well as displayed. So when we added the 1K texture, what it did is it made our model bigger. So now let's go ahead and do the same thing with our 4K. So we're just gonna call this wood siding dash 4K. And we'll go ahead and click in here We'll go to our 4K folder and we'll add this in here. So again, I'm just gonna double click, right click and do a select all with same material. And we're gonna make sure that we have the wood material 4K selected. We're gonna apply that to all these faces. So notice how there's not a giant change other than if I zoom in, notice how I have less blurring when I get really close. So it is a higher quality texture. But now let's do a file save as, we're gonna save this as a model with the 4K texture. And we'll go ahead and click on save. If we look at this folder, notice how the mid-century modern with the 4K texture is like four times as big as the 1K texture, which you would expect because this is gonna be four times the resolution in here, but it also means it's four times the file size, everything like that. Remember this is one texture that we're applying to our model. So now, Let's go back and take a look at what that does to our SketchUp model file size if we had the 8K texture. All right, so if I apply the 8K texture to all these faces, notice how when I zoom in, it takes a little while for SketchUp to pick up on that. But again, if I zoom in on this, you can see how I have, again, a fairly high quality texture in here. But when you zoom out, it looks pretty similar to the material that you applied with the 1K. But now, let's go ahead and let's save this. So we're just gonna do a save as, and we'll call this one 8K texture. All right, so if you look at this, exact same model, but with the 8K texture, notice how this SketchUp model now has a size of 42 megabytes. So we changed our file size from 3000 or three megabytes up to 42 megabytes just by swapping out one texture. So this is something that's really important because not only um, is this something that's gonna make your file size bigger, but it's also going to affect your performance. So these higher resolution textures are going to take longer to load. And if you add a bunch of them in here for absolutely no reason other than um, you think that they're going to be better because they're higher resolution, what it's going to do is it's going to drag your SketchUp model performance down and your model is going to run really low for very little benefit. So unless you're doing like a close-up rendering or something like that, this doesn't look that different from the 1K. So if I was to take this one face and just apply the 1K texture on here and then zoom in and look at the difference, the only thing that you're gonna see that's a little bit different is when you really zoom in, notice how the texture on the left-hand side over here has a much lower resolution than the one on the right-hand side. But if you're always going to view your building from this angle, who cares, right? It doesn't really affect your, it doesn't really affect anything and your model's gonna run a lot faster. And so one other thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm gonna go ahead and reapply this 8K texture, is I wanted to talk about a quick way to reduce the resolution of those textures. So there's an extension in the SketchUp extension warehouse called Material Resizer from the SketchUp team. And basically what this does, and let's go ahead and install it. What it does is it's gonna allow you to quickly resize texture images in your model. So you can take your larger materials and change them so that they're smaller materials. So if we were to come in here and run material resizer from our extensions right here, notice how it gives you a list of the different materials inside of your model and it shows you the size of them. Well, what we can do is we can come in here and let's say for example, we wanted to reduce our wood siding material so let's say we wanted to do 1024 for this. So what you could do is you could just reduce selected materials to 1024, click on go, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna resize this texture material, so it's gonna convert it in the background, and then it's gonna resize the material so that it's a lot smaller inside of your model. So notice how now that's a 1024 by 1024, 
instead of that higher resolution material. So if you do get a model that comes in with a bunch of these extra, um, that comes in with a bunch of high resolution textures, you can use material resizers in order to adjust them. And then the last thing that you're gonna wanna do is notice how my 1K and my 4K materials are still living inside of the SketchUp model. Well, when you're done and you don't need them anymore, so if you have a bunch of materials sitting in your file or something like that, you can also go up to Window, Model Info, and you can purge unused. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna remove those material definitions if they're not applied to anything inside of your model. So notice I have 43 materials now. If I click on purge unused, now I have 33 materials. So what it does is it gets rid of all the materials that aren't being used in your model anymore. And so now that we've resized this and gotten rid of the extra stuff in our model, if we do a file, save as, and we'll just call this mid-century modern final model. So if we look at our final model where we removed all that extra stuff and we reduced the resolution of this texture, notice how we went from a 42 megabyte file to a two and a half megabyte file just by adjusting some textures inside of our model. So this is one of the fastest ways to improve the performance of your SketchUp models. I talk about more methods for improving the performance of your models inside of the SketchUp Essentials course. So if that's something you wanna check out, you can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.